morning, everybody. New Baltimore Police Commissioner Michael Harrison got high marks from the federal judge overseeing the police consent decree. Judge James Bradar called Harrison a gifted leader. The city lucky that Harrison caught what the judge called a Hail Mary pass for police leadership. In remarks in court, Harrison assured the judge he is committed to the city. Nothing that's happening around me is affecting any decisions I make. I'm, I'm here for the long haul to see that we reform this department and help bring down violent crime and make Baltimore the safe city it was always supposed to be. The controversy around Mayor Catherine Pugh cast a long shadow at the court hearing. It is soul killing, the judge said. A whole new leadership crisis has engulfed the city. But despite the current drama in City Hall, not one word of the consent decree has changed, the judge said. It is still full speed ahead in implementation. With Harrison was his new chief of implementing the consent decree. Daniel Murphy just joined the department from New Orleans, undeterred by the political chaos in City Hall. Murphy also oversaw the consent decree in New Orleans. I think the challenges are very similar. Obviously, every community, every police department is unique, but the success we had in New Orleans is directly transferable to here. Baltimore is entering its third year under the consent decree. It took 15 months to get a police commissioner. Now the mayor is on leave. But Ray Kelly, the community liaison to the consent decree, says progress in reform is being made. According to plan and the way the timeline is etched out, we're moving forward. We just have to focus on the reform and not all the other chaos that's happening around the city. Commissioner Harrison said today he has interviewed in the department all officers of, of major rank and up. And as of today, since he has arrived, four top commanders have left the police department. Reporting live tonight from the federal court, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.